winds from 180 instead of 190, so it could shift it to the left a little. It's probably going to be real bumpy coming in. Uh, you know, it's going to look a lot, little squirrely, so there's always a chance that we'll go around. Inbound aircraft, uh, just be careful. Uh, between uh, 6,000 and about uh, 5, 5 the wind's pretty unpredictable. I'm Eric, a private pilot based in Los Angeles. Join me and my family on our aviation adventures throughout Southern California and beyond. It is Thanksgiving time and that can only mean one thing. Our Sedona. family trip to Sedona, that's right. Um, yeah, check it out. We have all this stuff loaded in the airplane. Yeah, the weather looks good for the trip. It, the winds at Sedona are going to be kind of strong and gusty, but I think right down the runway. What a joker, relying on the terminal area forecast. I did check it, and it called for winds at 2 p.m. to be almost straight down runway 21, from 190 at 16 gust 26, but settling down to 11 knots direct headwind by 5 p.m., near the time we were planning on arriving. So hopefully we'll be all right with that, but and hopefully it won't be too turbulent. I'm a little worried about how bumpy it's going to be on the approach. You got to show everybody your um, matching sweatshirts. You want to see the drip? Oh, check out the drip, yo. <laughs> we may or may not have been forced to wear them. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. I love wearing them. I do. I actually do love wearing these matches. We always look forward to flying to Sedona around this time of year, and it's always an adventure. Fuel flow is good. Last year we had the door pop open after takeoff in Sedona, and Poppin's jacket got sucked out, creating a tense situation. In case you missed it, check out last year's Sedona video on our channel. Sedona is an amazing place that lets us recharge and reconnect with each other, and we are all especially looking forward to getting away from our usual routines this year, since it's been a particularly tough and strange one. Number one Bravo Whiskey, resume on navigation. Oh, nav, one Bravo Whiskey, thanks. Throughout the two and a half hour flight to Sedona, I kept an eye on the winds using the ADS-B weather on the Dynon HDX. So right now we've got about almost two hours to go and Sedona is reporting winds from 190 at 14 gust 21. So we got some strong gusty winds. That's 20 degrees off of the, uh, the runway, the runway 21. So 20 degrees, so two over six is one third. So one third of 21, that's a max the gust seven knot crosswind. So, you know, five to seven knot crosswind, that doesn't seem too bad. So I'll add a little speed to my approach. Um, you know, the, the rule of thumb there is the half the gust factor. Um, that's another rule of thumb. If you missed one of my previous videos, I did my top five rules of thumb. That crosswind calculation was in the video. So check out that video um, for the crosswind rule of thumb along with four other rules of thumb. The gust factor one was not, so, but I think the general accepted rule of thumb for that is to add half the gust factor to your uh, final approach speed. So I'll um, do a little research on that, talk to your CFI about that one. Number one, Bravo Whiskey, contact LA Center, 132.5, 32, LA Center, 132.5, one Bravo Whiskey. Yeah. What about this summer? We should go to the big um, air show to Oshkosh, you know? <laughs> uh, I think all three of us have the same look. Where is Oshkosh? The Wisconsin. Yeah, I it's think on, the, it's on the way to the Bahamas. I think the <laughs> only one person in this plane that would really enjoy that is you. Uh, I'll go with you for sure. Goomba, don't you think you'd like it? I think There's Goomba like would all like kinds it. of different planes. It's like thousands of people fly in. It's like there's air show, there's demonstrations, there's drones, there's fireworks. It might Gigi will stay home and throw ridiculous house parties. I can go attend house parties. Just keeping an eye on the weather. Nine minutes ago, Sedona is reporting winds from 180 instead of 190. So it shifted to the left a little at 12 gust 23. So a little bit more of a gust factor and a little bit more of a, a crosswind component, uh, but still not, not outrageous. Uh, scary to me. 
Yeah, the, the, the thing about it with this winds from there that strong and gusty is that uh, it's probably going to be real bumpy coming in. So it's more, you know, it's a lot about your comfort that I'm worried about, but also just about the actual landing and the crosswind or the gusty wind. I feel so groggy. I feel drugged. It's weird. Oh, we're at 9,500. That can happen. You get a little hypoxic. I always enjoy the flight from LA to Sedona. It's so beautiful over there. The radios are usually quiet and the scenery is amazing. Have you guys seen this over there? The way the sun and the clouds are on the mountains, the shadows and stuff? About 100 miles west of Sedona. Coming over these right, mountains Charlie, here. Mike, uh, what's the fix you're looking to start it over? Some precipitation uh, in yeah, the distance. I mean, we don't need the ILS. Um, and it does show up here on the HDX display, which is pretty cool. In, so. So, we'd like to hold at so we've got and an update so here on the uh, winds at Sedona. And then go inbound 160 on at Sedona, 14 ETS, gusts 25. It's 50 degrees off, so it's a straight crosswind at 14 knots. Just about, and the wind varies from 120 to 180. So, shifting winds and very gusty. The weather for Prescott and it's 200 at 17 knots. That's almost right down the runway, so uh, at Prescott. So, Prescott is a really good alternate if we need to go somewhere. We got tons of fuel. Lots and lots of fuel if we want to go to Prescott and land and wait for the winds to die down in Sedona, we can do that. As we got closer, I was able to tune in the Sedona automated weather and started checking it more frequently. Wind 150 at 20, gust 27, visibility. You've probably noticed the trend here. The wind was becoming increasingly more of a crosswind and growing in strength while remaining gusty. So it's going to be a gusty left crosswind. Go land with the two notches of flaps and these strong gusty winds. Coming in, we're starting our descent for Sedona. It's going to be pretty bumpy, I think, and uh, you know it's going to look a lot, little squirrely. So there's always a chance that we'll go around the weather at uh, Prescott, right, which is right over here. It's a 15-minute flight from Sedona. is perfect for that runway. The wind is like straight down that runway and it's Meeting much less. Altitude. We always could come back to Prescott, land for a little while. The winds will die down here. Their forecast will die down a little while. Better service term Squawk VFR and change to advisories approved. Have a good one, bud. All right, thanks. Uh, Squawk VFR, change to advisory. Thanks. More broad whiskey. I have to admit, I felt my tension rise when the controller cut me loose on the common traffic frequency. Definitely felt on my own in the challenge ahead. Sedona traffic, Cherokee 631, Bravo whiskey. Descending out of 8,200, about 10 miles to the west. Good enter, yeah, left down one, really two on, so don't know. Inbound aircraft, uh, just be careful, uh, between uh, 6,000 and about 5,5, uh, five, five, the wind's pretty unpredictable. All right, thanks for the heads up. All right, guys, you gotta really fasten your seatbelt there. That'd be a little bit gnarly. Fasten yeah, yeah we're, we're, we're good. We may not, we really may not land. I understand. I trust you. Sedona traffic, check 631, Bravo Whiskey is on a left downwind. Only 2 1 at uh, 6,100, Sedona. Sedona Airport, automated weather observation 2 3 3 7, Zulu weather, wind 1 5 0 at 2 0, gust 3 0. Traffic Cherokee 631 Bravo Whiskey. Turn left face. Only two on Sedona. Caution. Terrain. Caution. Terrain. Sedona so, traffic Cherokee 631 Bravo Whiskey. Turn power. Only two on Sedona. Altitude. Oh, well, we're definitely going to go around here. Not landing right now. Not landing right now. I made the early decision to go around since I was high on the approach and decided to just do a low approach to feel out the crosswind and gusts.
Sedona traffic, Cherokee 631, Bravo Whiskey is uh, going around on 21 left traffic, Sedona. Yeah, it was just like, uh, I was really high, I was trying to keep it a little bit high there. Uh -huh. um, then I just decided it was getting like kind of squirrely on the base going turn. Around, uh, runway 21. And then I Departed thought, let's double. just go around. I was just trying to feel out how gusty crosswind was, and it didn't really seem that gusty there, so I think we'll be all right. Sedona Airport. Automated weather observation. Two, three, four, two. Zulu weather. Wind one six zero at two zero. Gust three zero. The second time around was especially rough during the base turn. Sedona traffic. Cherokee six three one. Bravo whiskey. Left face. Runway two one. Sedona. Caution. Terrain. Caution. Terrain. Sedona traffic, Cherokee 6-2-1, Broad Whiskey is on final runway 2-1, Sedona. Sedona traffic, Cherokee 6-2-1, Broad Whiskey is on final runway 2-1, Sedona. Alright, we still might go around, okay? 500. Traffic Cherokee 631, Bravo Whiskey is going around. We're on way 21, let's go. Hey Cherokee, your winds are currently 150 at 19, gusting 30. Yeah, we're just doing a, a couple uh, kind of low passes to feel it out there. Uh, one Bravo Whiskey, thanks. I could tell that Poppins was having a rough time in the turbulence, and I felt bad for doing another lap in the pattern and prolonging the experience. Are you okay, Jenny? I definitely felt some self-generated pressure to get the plane on the ground on this next attempt, or call it and head to Prescott instead. So no traffic, Cherokee 631, Bravo Whiskey is uh, left base, runway 21, Sedona. Sedona traffic, Cherokee 631, Bravo Whiskey is turn five, runway 21, Sedona. Caution. Terrain. Cherokee 6 g one Bravo Whiskey's on final. Runway 2 wants to go. 500. These were the strongest crosswinds I've flown in the Cherokee 6. The plane felt super solid and stable, maybe because of its heavier weight, or maybe because I only used partial flaps, but I was pleasantly surprised at how stable it felt. Okay. I'm sure that was really scary. I think that was a bit crazy. Those charts, like the turbulence. Yeah, the turbulence over there was gnarly. <laughs> Need a barf bag. Okay, oh, grab her uh, barf, barf bag, dudes. Sedona, Sedona traffic. Oh man, poor thing. Cherokee 631 Bravo Whiskey is off of a 2-1. We're taxiing to park, Sedona. Uh, I'm so uh, sorry, Jenny. <laughs> sorry, Mommy, I'm taking stuff to get damaged. I need the water. Poor Poppins. 
guys, you guys put up with a lot. I'm really sorry. Okay. Poppins is such a rock star. After cleaning up the wing, she helped push the plane in. What a trooper. We loaded the rental car and we're ready for our Sedona adventure. Let's load the car. It was time for some off-roading. No, not that kind of off-roading, this kind. Thanks to my friend Elliot, who took us on an awesome Jeep tour to find a Sedona Vortex. Here we are in the land of the Vortexes, and I heard if you meditate hard enough, magical things are gonna happen, so I'm gonna give it a try. That's right, we got some SoCal Flying Monkey merch coming to you. I'm super excited about how these turned out. We got the new SoCal Flying Monkey color logo, and it says, let's go flying. Let's see what else we got if I meditate. We also have this SoCal Flying Monkey cloud surfing hoodie. Uh, let's see what else we got. And we've got the SoCal Flying Monkey patch hat right here. You can get these hoodies and the hat at the SoCal Flying Monkey shop, SoCalFlyingMonkey.com. You can use the code MONKEY10 to get 10% off everything in the store, which is only three things. But uh, I'm super excited about this merch, and this is a way that you guys can support the channel, and I super appreciate it. I'm giving away five hats, and all you need to do to be eligible is drop a comment in the YouTube comments. I'll pick at random, so it can be about your experience with crosswind landings or anything else, like what you enjoy doing on family trips. As for us, we went on the usual hikes. and discovered some new ones. Most importantly, we logged some quality time together. I'll always cherish the quiet, in-between moments that this place provides us. Flying our own airplane here pushed me to new places as an aviator, and the girls set out to climb a little higher than ever before. Getting out and having adventures together always seems to make us grow a little each time. And our own skills, closer together, and in our imaginations of what's possible. <laughs>